from beautiful downtown Niagara Falls in the Falls Radio Tower, the Niagara Radio Players presents Five Minute Theater. Tonight's episode is The Plotters, written by Harry W. Junkin. This was originally performed by the Radio City Playhouse October the 10th, 1949. Ah, spring. But spring for Thurston Holloway and his friend and neighbor Porter Gordon means nothing. Nothing but a time to dream about what might have been. To sit on Thurston's front porch swing, read travel folders, and wish. And wish. And wish. Listen to this, Thurston. Mm -hmm. Glorious bathing, gala social life, the magic of the Caribbean, wind-blown sunny days, romantic, tropical moonlit nights. Mm -hmm. And then there's a picture of a man and a woman standing on a balcony, looking away, out into the sunset. Mm. Ah, Thurston, this just breaks my big old fat heart. And here we sit, Porter, while all that goes on in Nassau. Nassau. Not only Nassau, Porter, but many other places. So many other places. Ah, we've missed all of it. All of it. Uh, and girls, too. All kinds, shapes and sizes of... Oh, girls. Oh, girls, girls. Ah, we're old, Thurston, that's all. You know, we've been doing this for almost 15 years, talking about travel. Far away places. Remember when we planned to go around the world? Oh, around the world. Save money for five long years, and then you, you... I know, I know. You, you married Letty. I know. And you stopped us. I was infatuated. But, but you weren't much better. You married baby. You... Well, well I know. Well, well... On the rebound, Thurston. Rebound. Pure and simple. We couldn't help it, fella. I don't blame you. I didn't have a chance. Fifteen years we worked and slaved for those two women. Yeah. Fifteen years of nothing. That sums up our lives. Our miserable inconsequential, dull, boring lives. Yep. Hey, listen to this. It says the Isle de France is back. No, oh, where was it? Hey, look, Thurston, here's one on Hawaii. Hawaii. Waikiki. Waikiki. Palm trees and everything. Hawaii. Shush, shush. Our wives are coming back. Ah, look at them. Hey, revolting, isn't it? Utterly revolting. I know just what they're going to say. We should have been listening to them for fifty. We've been listening to them for fifteen years. Well, Letty will ask us if we want to walk to the drugstore with them. Yes. The drugstore. And and that's why she didn't call me, of course. But but naturally, mine were bigger than hers because she didn't use any fertilizer. Fertilizer. Well, that doesn't mean, Letty. Everybody knows you've got the biggest violets in town. <laughs> biggest violets is right. <laughs> Don't hear us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you boys want to walk to the drugstore? We need some toothpaste, and I want a soda. Oh, that sounds like adventure. Letty, look. Travel magazines again. Honestly, you two are so silly. Oh, never mind, baby. They're just like a couple of schoolboys playing cops and robbers. You'd think they'd grow up, wouldn't you? It's a good thing they have you and I. Porty couldn't put his shoes on or, or anything in the morning if I didn't stand there right over him. Did you hear what they said? Yeah, schoolboys. I sure must have been a schoolboy when I married Letty. <laughs> See, Thurston? It isn't just we hate them. It's just that they're such bags. Bags is right. Sure are stuck. Uh, I'm 50, you're 51. We each have about 23 years expectancy. Every Sunday we sit and talk about Hawaii and Nassau and Indochina and not do a thing. Not a thing. No. What? We won't. Not for another 23 years. I just couldn't stand it. Porter. Let's do it. It's not too late yet. We've got 23 years ahead of us. Let's go around the world. You're crazy. Letty gets sick in a canoe. Who said anything about Letty? Well, I... I Porter, what do you mean? Leave them. What? Yeah, leave both of them with their toothpaste and their fertilizer and their, their African violets. Yeah, but what about? Fifteen years is about all a woman has the right to expect. Do. That's the word. We've been forgetting for all these years. Do. 
Let's just stop talking about it and do it. You're right, Porter. You are so right. Of course I'm right. We'll do it. We'll leave him flat. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll let him scuff at our travel magazines. While we're in the China Sea. <laughs> or sleeping on the steps of the Taj Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> what about money? Uh, money? Money. Uh, we can work our way around the world, can't we? Oh, not me, Porter. I couldn't work my way around the block. Oh, uh, money. Sometimes I hate it. Yeah, me too. We need thousands, thousands. Or even more. Well, it was great while it lasted. Yeah. Money. I got $185 in the bank. Oh, that's nice. I got 60 That's nice. 15 <laughs> years of work in between us, and we can't even raise $300? Huh, Thurston? Yeah. I got $10,000 worth of insurance on Baby. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I've got 6000 on Letty. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. We could go a long way on $16,000, couldn't we? Yeah, 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 we could. Provocative, isn't it? Very provocative, mm. Porter, very. But how, Thurston, how? They're both as healthy as hogs. Ah! There she goes, all the way down the stairs. I guess I better go take a look. Baby. Hmm. I guess I better phone the doctor. Now I'll wait 15 minutes, then I'll call the doctor. Mm. Oh, baby. Baby, are you all right? Help me up, darling. No, you're all right. Help me up. Oh, uh, what? Well, I'll phone the doctor, babe. You needn't bother. Oh, it's no bother. I'd do it for anybody. Help me up. There's a rip in that rug at the top of the stairs, and I caught my heel. I could have killed myself. Yeah, you could have. That you, Letty? Of course it's me. I told you your rubber boots were in the garage. Honestly, Thurston, you just don't look for things. They were right where I said they were. What do you want with your rubber boots anyway? Oh, uh, I thought I might go fishing with Porter. Well, they've got holes all over the bottoms, and you know it. Oh, here. Here they are. Dirty old things. Thank you, Letty. Send me out to the garage to look for something that steers you right in the face. They were right where I said they were. Oh, I'm going to bed. Are you coming? Uh, yeah, in a minute. Thurston, will you stop looking at those travel folders? That one on Samoa with the native girl on the front is positively obscene. All right, lady. By the way, when I came out of the garage and closed the door... That horseshoe right above the entrance fell and almost hit me on the head. Letty. You better nail it up again. It might have killed me. Yeah, I know. Porter. Now, don't tell me, Thurston. I can see it by the look on your face. No luck, huh? Nah, the horseshoe missed her. Nah, baby fell down the stairs all right, but she wasn't even bruised. Relaxed her muscles, I guess. They sure are tough. Tough. Indestructible. Are we stymied? No, sir. Not by a long shot. Well... You're going to come over to my place tonight. We'll spend some time at my workbench in the basement. You got an idea? Have I got an idea. Foolproof. What? You'll see. You'll see. This time next week we'll be leaving for Samoa with $16,000. Yeah? Samoa, the land of adventure and enchantment. Oh, tropical nights and the blue surf. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thurston, I forgot to ask you. Yeah? When you and Letty come over tonight, will you do me a favor? Sure, Porter. Will sure, bring, what? Will you bring along your rip saw? I wonder what kind of wood this is. It's like steel. Well, maybe my saw's dull. Or maybe there's a spike in it. A spike? Yeah, a spike to hold a step on the two braces. Is that the way they build cellar steps? Well, I don't know. Could be. I'd hate to think I spent the ha last half hour sawing through a spike. Well, uh, I guess if it was a spike, all the teeth would have been broken. Just like theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well, that about does it. I sawed the three top stairs almost through. Only well, I wish we had something besides a tape measure to measure with it. How far do you think it is? 
Well, Thurston O'Pell, I figure when they crash through the step, they'll fall, um, let me see, eight feet, nine and three quarter inches. Is that enough? Well, it's the best you can do unless you want to dig a hole in the cellar floor to get an extra foot or maybe. I don't think we'll need it. Eight feet, nine and three quarter inches on a solid cement ought to do the trick. Yep. Probably bust the cement. Yeah, they'll go right through to China. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Porter, something just occurred to me. How can you be sure they'll both fall? Well, um, I'll say something about they should be take each other's arm or something. Well, one might see the other falling and have time to stop. Well, that's a risk we'll have to take. I mean, at least it's a step in the right direction. If you get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're about ready. We'll test one of the steps. Oh, yeah. Careful, don't break it. Maybe we'll go through this like a knife through butter. The lights, turn off the lights. Oh, yeah. There. Well, Thurston, here we go. Second time's the charm. Let's hope so. Shake on it. Porter, old friend. Keep your fingers crossed. Letty, baby. What is it, Thurston? Porter and I want you girls to come downstairs. Why? Should I tell her? Yeah, say we're going to do something. We have something to show them. We got something to show you. Well, bring it upstairs. We can't bring it upstairs. Why? Tell her it's tied up. We can't bring it upstairs because it's tied up. What? Thurston, have you and Porter got a dog down there? Oh, come on down to the cellar, baby. We've got something real interesting to show you. Oh, all right. Thurston, turn on the lights. We can't. Well, why not? It glows. We can't turn on the lights because it glows in the dark. We can't see the stairs. Hang on to each other's arms. All right, dear, here we come. <laughs> Thurston. Yes, Porter? When do you think we'll get out of the hospital? The nurse said next Monday. How's your arm? That's all right. They're taking the cast off tomorrow. That's nice. How's your head? Ah, uh, they're taking the bandages off today. <laughs> That's nice. It certainly was a surprise, wasn't it? Uh, if we'd only known they'd fall right on top of us, we could have backed off more. Yeah, it was that fallen step that broke your arm, wasn't it? Clipped it right in two. Terrible. Pass me some peanuts. Sure. Thanks. Glad we got a semi-private together. Yeah. Hey, give me another one of baby saltwater kisses. Oh, sure. They're hard to chew, but they taste good. Oh, um, yeah. Kind of restful being in the hospital. Well, it gives you time to think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it this time, Porter. Huh? Oh, no, Thurston. Don't you think we've done about it all we can here? You're not weakening on me, are you? Well, no, but I really think that we've we gone... can't let a little miscalculation deter us, can we? Well, I suppose we shouldn't. I have thought of something foolproof. Oh, yeah? What? <laughs> All in good time, Porter, old friend. All in good time. Oh, oh, by the way, I sent the nurse out for the latest copy of Holiday Magazine. This one's on Mozambique. Africa. Yeah. Egypt. The Nile. The Pyramids. The Sphinx. Cleopatra. Yeah. Peanuts? No, thanks. <clears throat> tell me, Thurston, what is your plan this time? Oh, all right now, Porter, I'll tell you. As soon as we get out of the hospital, we suggest to the girls that we take a holiday, see? Just a week. But we can say that we've both been shaken up and the doctor says we need a rest, see? When the girls say, where are we going, that's when we say... But why Niagara Falls? Well, Thurston wants to go there, baby, and so do I. But why Niagara Falls? I don't know. We just got out of the hospital. I thought you'd show me some consideration. Well, it was so nice in Wicked County Plainy Lodge. Well, we can all go, always go to that Wicked County Lodge some other time. 
But why Niagara Falls? You'll love it, baby. We can take pictures and watch the water under the lights. Well... It isn't often that one has a chance to stand on a cliff, look straight down for 326 feet. Hey Thurston, don't you think we better get back to the girls? We can't stay in the smoker all day. Look at suspicious. In a minute, Porter, old friend. Yeah, but I'm just wait a minute. I'm just figuring out how far that insurance will go. Now wait. How much will we spend on getting over to Japan? Let's see, that's that's sixteen thousand less um uh, well we'd still have thirteen thousand five hundred when we got to Honolulu. Thought you said Japan. Oh, yeah, that's right. 15,000 less Japan. You don't think 16,000 will last all the way around the world? It might be fun to get stranded, huh? In a warm country. Tough. Maybe Egypt. Egypt. Make friends with some slow-eyed Egyptian princess. Egyptian? Egyptians are slow-eyed, only the Chinese. Well, anyway, it would be fun. Well, you can't just think... I'd that. like to see us living in Casablanca. Well, maybe if you think... Can't we... you just see it? Riding a camel into the French Quarter in Casablanca? Yeah, Thurston, but right now we're riding the day coach into the American Quarter of the Falls. Well, we're almost at the falls now. Why didn't you tell us it was this far? Oh, yeah, too darn far. It's going to be dark before we get there. Porter, why didn't you tell us it was this far? I didn't know it was this far. Porter, Letty, baby, please be patient. I know it's around here somewhere, but, but after all, I haven't been here for years. Well, I'm just about dead. Is it much farther, Thurston? <laughs> it's right around here somewhere. There's a flat piece of rock about 15 feet square, and there's the most marvelous view. It'll be dark by the time we find it. Don't be impatient, baby. Why didn't you tell us it was this far? There, right over there. Where? See that flat piece of rock? Such a long time. Come on, girls. Not much farther now. Just a few more feet. I'll hold this branch. Now, you go ahead, Letty. <clears throat> Thank you. Baby. Why didn't you tell us it was this far? Now, go ahead, baby. Now, don't you get away behind us. Oh, we won't. This is it, hey, Porter? Hey, girls, want to smell that air? Like, just smell it. Uh, isn't that a magnificent view now, isn't it? Oh, well, it's too dark. Oh, it's just right. What do you think, Porter? We're way too far from the falls. They do make a big roar. I think it's perfect, just perfect. Now, those are the Canadian Falls to the left. We're closest to the American Falls. And how can you tell? Radar? Oh, baby, don't be sarcastic with poor Thurston. But why didn't you tell us it was this far? Thurston's gone to a lot of trouble, haven't you, Thurston? Oh, it was worth it, Porter. Worth it. Well, I just wish we could have seen all this in the daylight. Daylight wouldn't have done this. Move to closer to the edge now, ladies. It's thrilling to look straight down. No, thank you. You don't want to look over the edge? No, this is just fine. Back here is just fine. How about you, baby? Uh-uh. It's like you're looking into another world, 326 feet straight down. Heights make me dizzy. Ouch! Oh, blasted fly. All right, we've seen the falls. Let's get out of here and get back to the hotel. We can't leave yet. Oh, wait, look, look, look. They've turned on the searchlights. They've turned on the searchlights on the Canadian Falls. Oh, yeah? Let me look. Uh, move over. Make more room, Thurston. Say, it is rather pretty at that. It is oh, rather pretty. Hey, let me see. M move over. We'll step back so you girls can have a good look. Come on, Porter. It must take a lot of horsepower. <laughs> I thought it was candle power. Matter of fact, I thought it was kilowatts. Wow, it must be very complicated. Okay, Thurston. Hell, this is it. 
Third time and out, eh? Oh, look at them standing there, so unsuspecting. Sad, sort of. You're not weakening, are you? No, not me. Well, good luck, Porter. Ah, but there, Thurston, my friend. See you in Hawaii, Porter. On the beach at Waikiki. You take baby and I'll take Letty. No, the other way around. You kill my wife and I'll kill yours. It doesn't seem so bad that way. Okay. A quick rush and a heave. You ready? Let's go. But surely, ladies, you must have had some idea on why your husbands wanted to commit suicide? No, officer. We have none. <laughs> well, I don't understand it. I've been ten years with the Niagara Falls Police, and I just don't understand it. Uh, Thurston, Thurston did have an aversion to cucumbers, but surely that wouldn't be the reason? Hmm... Now, you're sure you can't tell me any more about how it happened? I just can't talk about it anymore. Well, as I told you, the lights went on. Letty and I were looking, and suddenly we heard this sort of funny noise. Letty and I took a couple of steps toward each other, and all of a sudden, they just whizzed right past us. Well, I thought the funeral was lovely, just the way they would have wanted it. Both coffins side by side. Oh, yes. This house just doesn't seem the same. I don't think I can stand it without Porter. I know. Liddy? Yeah? Did Thurston have any insurance? We had twin policies. $6,000. Oh, that's nice. Did Porter have any? Well, we had twin policies, too, yeah. $10,000. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That means we have $16,000 between us. What are we going to do, baby? We can't just sit around this town the rest of our lives. I know, Letty, I know. Poor dear boys with their travel folders. Travel. That's all they wanted to do. Here, look at this. What? Glorious bathing, gala social life, the magic Caribbean wind-blown sunny days, and romantic tropical moonlit nights. Ah. Oh. And here's a picture of a man and a woman standing on a balcony looking way out onto the sunset. Ah, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful, baby? Oh, yes. We could go clean around the world on $16,000. Oh, look, and later on it says... The terrifying excitement of deep sea fishing combined with the romance of rumba filled nights. <laughs>